you know, where are you located at currently? And are you doing deals in your own town or only all, all, you know, virtual? So, so I'm, I'm in Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, so yes, I do deals in Providence. I'm looking at a few deals now. I actually just got a, a text message on a four unit um, locally in Pawtucket. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check that out on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, because I coach and mentor, a lot of my deals come from my students. I do a lot of joint ventures with my, my students. And so I'm walking them through their first deal. And so mm -hmm. the way that tends to work is you know, wherever they are, um, depending on our the level of our relationship, I'll fly out, help them get going. And then when they have a deal, you know, I'll help them source the money because I have a lot of relationships and I also have my own real estate investment fund. And so right. I'm actively raising capital with with um, accredited investors. So, you know, if you're accredited, okay. you know, definitely reach out. Um, um, and uh, beyond that, uh, I do a little bandit signs locally. Um, mm -hmm. I do some, I'm getting more into the social media stuff. Okay. You know, um, Instagram, that type of thing, you know. Yeah. You said you have students. Now, I'm assuming you have a class, uh, um, you know, obviously comes students, there comes uh, yeah. an education program, things like that. Tell us a little bit about your, your you know, I, I do this to add value for free and yep. in, in return for me, people in my group, they reach out to me to do joint ventures. Sure. If they don't reach out to me, I, I, hey, maybe people will reach out to each other in the group. That's perfectly fine with me. Sure. So tell me a little bit about your. Yeah. So, so, um, the, so I just, I just went ahead and, and created a course, right? Um, okay. Um, and the name of my course is the bird dog bootstrap blueprint okay. uh, because that's my i have a company called bird dog factory and and the whole premise of that was when i started mentoring people um uh, bird dog is where you start like to be a bird dog you just need drive you don't need money mm -hmm. you don't need you don't need credit you don't need experience you just need to be willing to get up and go talk to people about real estate. You know, you're looking for who who wants to buy a house, who wants to sell a house, you know, who's behind on their mortgage, who's in real estate, you know, whether they're a contractor agent, you know, attorney, you know, CPA, you know, and who's interested in making a double digit rate of return on their money secured by discounted real estate. You know, right. that's, that's really the process. And then you're just adding to your contact list. You're building out your sellers list, your buyers list, and your resource list. Mm -hmm. That's the strategies that I'm teaching you. And, and it's very effective, you know, when you, when you actually engage in people with that conversation, you'll be surprised how many people, you know, right now are on some level, maybe they just filed for divorce or had mm -hmm. a bankruptcy or whatever. You know, maybe they were impacted by COVID, you know, right. and, and, and so at the end of the day, you know, with bird dog education, um, because my back, I'm a, I'm a financial, uh, a financial advisor as well, a okay. wealth coach. Yep. Um, and so like I can go deep. Um, okay. and, and so with my course, we start off with your budget, help you understand your financials because to build a business, you need to know your income and your expenses. You know, you need to set some targets, that type of thing. Yep. Um, I go on to debt management, how to effectively pay off bad debt mm -hmm. and, and how to think about debt moving forward and establish only good debt or yep. I call it my debt positive strategies. And with that, you're only accumulating debt to increase your cash flow or your, your equity positions. 100%. But you, don't, you don't use that have some effective strategies about how to work with realtors mm -hmm. you know um that's one of the first things i'll have you do is have a, a real estate agent send you some listings mm -hmm. and then you start going through the listings and running the numbers practicing running the numbers practicing looking up comps yeah. you know practicing running the numbers to make offers yep you know and then i go through the psychology of of making offers how to present an offer that type yep. of thing and all of this stuff that i'm telling you i only charge 97 dollars for it 
the reason why, like I'm, I'm a guy that spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on my education after college. Mm -hmm. I spent over $150,000 last year um, between um, Cardone, um, multifamily mindset, and mm -hmm. investment fund secrets, you know, and, and in traveling across the country, you know, it, it's, 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 that's a huge investment, but it's worth it. You know, it's tax deductible when you're operating mm -hmm. business, right? And yep. you're going to be making money. You need to offset some of those capital gains with, with, you know, reasonable expenses. So I get into tax strategy as well. Okay. So like yeah. uh, what you get, I really should charge a lot more, but for me, yeah. I do it because of what real estate meant for me getting started. The other thing, I, I do have a bigger ticket uh, product is uh, 19, basically 19 grand, 20, almost 20 okay. grand. With that, I, I, I really do a whole makeover. Like we're talking estate, estate planning strategies. Gotcha. Uh, we're talking me flying yeah. out, helping that's you build your team. Yeah, but, so that's somebody like with a portfolio a product not even. or or a portfolio of whatever they have, you know. Not even okay. not even, man. Like okay. like in order so there's a wealth gap, right? The reason why the wealth gap exists mm -hmm. is because when we pass away um probate happens and it and it takes away from our assets and yep. so if you're gonna work and accumulate assets then you need to protect them properly now i'm not an attorney or an accountant so i always say you know check with your attorneys and accountants with the information you're getting from us right um but yeah most definitely it's to get into it just for the um uh, just for the the community, the networking. That's it. That's what you pay for. Yeah. How so, many how many times does a person have to hear your network will determine your net worth before you start investing time in expanding your network? And and that's where everybody needs to hear because it comes down to the, the five people that you spend the most amount of time with, you average their income and that's per that's going to come within 10% of what you're going to make. Okay. I have friends that I grew up with and I have people here that I grew up with and I'm, you know, no shame or anything to them, uh, you know, but it's why I'm, not, I'm too busy to hang out with people, to go to the bar, to go to the, you know, I, I'm, I'm just too busy to do all that. Now you want to network with me and we want to do some deals. I'm obviously right there. Yeah. That's money talking. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of my first mentors was actually the guy that did our lawn. And I walked out one day, he was there and I said, uh, his name was John. And I said, I said, John, um, if, if you teach me how to do this job, my parents will still pay you. But when you come, I'll do the work. You yep. just got, I, I just want you to teach me. And so he started doing it. He's like, all right, we'll grab the mower. And so he did that. And then, um, and mind you, I'm, I'm about 10 years old. And then he started saying, hey, Gerald, I got some other lines. You want to come with me and I'll pay you. And I'm like, yeah. So I would come, he'd pick me up. We'd go do some lines or whatever. And then when I got 15, my mother bought me a truck and my own lawnmower and weed whacker and stuff. And that's pretty much how I made money and, and maintained my vehicle until I went off to college, you know, but yeah. it was, it was the hustle. Yep. And I wish I had a red um, rich dad, poor dad back then because, or even better yet, the cash flow quadrants, because I always thought I was a business owner and I was really self-employed. Mm -hmm. You know, and I share that story because it's a lot of people out here that's hustling, that's not running a business, thinking they're running a business and they're really yeah. self-employed. And you really need to make that pivot because 100%. when you do, it's going to add a couple of digits to your, to your income and your net worth. You know, yep. you lack, you lack leverage in your business model. And that's one of the biggest things that I'm learning from Grant and his team at Cardone Ventures is how to create and grow and scale a business.
Yeah. Yeah, the biggest breakthrough that I had when I bought my apartment building mm -hmm. is the dynamics in the operating agreement. Okay. I've, I've had LLCs the, as long as I've been investing in real estate. I've never ever distinguish different classes of shares of ownership in that entity. Mm -hmm. I've never understood that that was even a possibility. I never mm -hmm. understood like that being introduced to corporate structures in that way mm -hmm. was mind blowing for me. And then at the same time, I'm in the mastermind group for of fund managers and I'm really understanding how to raise capital at a high level. And now I'm really starting to see what it what it means to be in business, what it means mm -hmm. to take a company public, what it means to to like, and it's a game changer. Yeah. And, and the difference between the rich, the poor, and the middle class is simply cash flow and mindset. Yep. In America, can, you can yeah. start off from zero and in 90 days be a multimillionaire, or at least mm -hmm. build a business worth multis of millions and how i know i've seen people yeah. do it 100 percent. i i 100 agree with you on that so real estate is is not just buying a property it's you have to have an acquisition plan and then you have to have a management plan yeah. how are you going to cash flow this deal what's the exit yep so no so i appreciate I'm, the time man the yeah, opportunity yeah. mandy no problem man no problem so everybody out there i Anybody out there, you know, hit us up, uh, Gerald. Real quick, how do we get a hold of you if if anybody wants to wants to talk with you, discuss any new sure. deals, anything like that? Uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, at Bird Dog Education, you can just fill out a form and and forward your information and leave a comment, or you can go to therealestateg.com and um you can get my email and my phone number and stuff like that all right awesome yeah. thank you thank you appreciate it yep. much love